At the 19th annual National Book Festival in Washington, D.C., Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg spoke about her life and career. Here's a portion of the program. Tell us how you finally did get a clerkship, because nobody, by and large, would even interview you for the most part. Yes, those were pre-Title VII days. <laughs> so employers were upfront about saying um, women are not welcome at this workplace, or we had a lady lawyer once, and she was dreadful. <laughs> so how many men have you had that didn't work? <laughs> <laughs> But I had a wonderful professor at Columbia Law School, who later moved to Stanford, Jerry Gunther. He was in charge of getting clerkships for Columbia students, and he called every federal judge in the Second Circuit, in the Southern East, Eastern Districts of New York, and he was not meeting with success. So he called a Columbia graduate, Judge Edmund Palmieri, who was a Columbia undergraduate, Columbia Law School graduate, and always took his clerks from Columbia. And he said, I strongly recommend that you engage Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And Palmieri's response was, I've had women law clerks, I know they're okay, but she's a mother, and sometimes we have to work on weekends, even on a Sunday. So Professor Gunther said, give her a chance, and if she doesn't work out, a young man in her class who's going to a downtown firm will jump in and take over. So that was the carrot. There was also a stick. And the stick was, if you don't give her a chance, I will never recommend another Columbia, Columbia graduate as your law clerk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way it was in not so ancient days for women. The big hurdle was to get that first job. Once a woman got the job, she did it at least as well as the men. So the second job was not the same obstacle. But there's a wonderful book. This is a meeting about books, so let me mention it. It's called First. Yeah. And it's about, it's a biography of Sandra Day O'Connor. She was very high in her class at Stanford Law School, but no law firm would hire her. She was asked, do you type? And maybe there would be a place as a legal secretary. So what did she do? She went to a county attorney and said, I will work for you without pay for four months. And then if you think I'm worth it, you can put me on the payroll. That's how uh, Sandra Day O'Connor got her first job. To watch the rest of this talk or other programs with Justice Ginsburg, visit our website at booktv.org and type her name in the search box at the top of the page.